Hello, today I would like to show you how to plot box plot in R. Uh, first of all, we go into import data. This is the data we are going to use today. Uh, the data has uh, two factors, general type and uh, p supply. And the data also uh, includes tiller, height, and yield. Uh, because the factor p supply is numeric, so we need to convert numeric into factor. We use this code to perform that. Uh, then we need to use ggplot2 uh, to plot box plot and we need to load this package uh, now we can start to uh, plot box plot for one factor we use the code ggplot and then we use the data frame df we use the code aes and the x as 6 is p supply and the y as is yield we use geom box plot to plot box plot I run this code. Uh, as we can see now, uh, this is box plot of yield at a different phosphor level. Uh, we can fill the color for the box plot. We just use the code fill equal p supply. And then we hit the run. Now our box plot are already uh, filled with the color. If you want you notch, you can use that. So this is not type of box plot, but normally I use the default. So I remove this one. Uh, we also can display the general type in the x-axis I just replace p supply with a general type and we also need to replace p supply in field with general type I run this and this is a box plot for yield at a different general type our data have uh, two factors a general type and uh, P supplies so we can uh, display both of these uh, factors in the box plot graph. Uh, to do that, we use the x axis as general type, y axis still yield, but we filled by p supply. And in this code, I also include the outlier color and the outlier shape. I select the red color for our liar and the shape is number 8, this is star. I run this code and we can see. As we can see, this is a block lot for yield of four different width general type and this box plot also includes uh, two frog frog level 10 and 30. We also can see the outlier, this is in the general type B and in the general type app. The color is red and the shape is star. If you want to change the color and the shape of outlier, you can do that. Uh, for example, you want to change this into the blue and this you see like number six. We run it and we see how it is. As you can see now, the outlier changed into the blue and the shape is triangle. We also can reorder the level in the x-axis. Uh, for example, we can reorder in descending order. Uh, to perform this, we need to use reorder code and we include general type and yield. But before yield, we use a minus. I run this code and we can see. As you can see, the box plot of yield will range from the highest to the lowest value. Uh, we also can reorder in increasing order. We also will reorder, but we need to use plus before yield instead of minus. I run this code, we can see. 
as we can see now, uh, the box plot will arrange from the lowest yield to the highest yield. Of course, we can reorder manually. Uh, for example, we can reorder from uh, Xenotype app to Xenotype app, and we use this code. We need to use fighter and then the genotype here, and we use levels. We just uh, change uh, the level in the genotype. I run this. After we run this code, we go back to uh, the first code and we run this. Now we can see the order of the level in the genotype has been changed from genotype F to genotype A box plot is a very useful chart to identify our liars. We also can use box plot to report the data. So I hope uh, this video is useful for you. Thank you for the watching.